Greetings YouTube, Skill Incarnate here with the third episode of our playthrough of John Carpenter's Thing, the game. In today's episode I'm taking my new squad with my African American friend here and my rifleman to explore the remainder of the Norwegian base. Now for those who haven't seen the film, this is the starting point of where the, the outbreak of the thing began. It looks like we've got another damn junction box here, so we're going to take that out and uh, let my friend do his thing. Fix that if you okay. will, sir. We've got to find shelter. Let's have a look in here and see what we've got in store for us. This looks quite ominous. There's, that's a lot of blood. I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my blowtorch and hope that there's no large thing beasts in here. Hold it. Pierce, it's Blake. It's okay. Put your weapon down. No way. You're infected just like all the others. I'm not. Your word ain't shit, Captain. I found a report that says the only way to prove you're not one of those things is through a blood test. Now, there's a medical kit near the kennel. You go get it and come back here, and I'll watch you do the test. Alrighty, so it appears that has answered our question about the blood test. I wanted to know whether I could become infected and whether my team could become infected. I suspect one of these guys may possibly be infected and it appears that that is a possibility. You can, you can get infected cool. because there is a test to confirm this and we're actually on our way now to go and find that test. Hopefully it's out this way. So in the movie the test was basically that they got someone's blood and they got a needle and they would heat it and they would put it into the blood and the theory is that a human being's blood while being alive will not react violently to being heated. The thing being weak against fire will actually, the, the blood becomes a separate entity. If you cut an arm or a leg off the thing, then it will actually become a separate entity with its own survival instinct and will try and avoid the heat, and that's a dead giveaway. So let's have a look in here before we do anything else. We got company. You know what to do, boys. Alright, we're getting pretty good at this. We took those guys out pretty easy. Just duck in here and uh, get our health back a bit. So yeah, basically the, the idea, the theory behind it is the thing is a is an entity. If you cut a piece of the thing off, an arm, a leg, a head, or you know, whatever, it will become a separate thing. And it will try and ingest people or living li living life forms of any type in here. order to make more of its kind. Here we go here. So it's that is shit. a that's a, a dog. It's been uh, it's been obviously ch turned into one of the thing beasts, and they've actually burnt the kennel down. And it looks like another one. So uh, yeah, here we go. You know what to do, boys. So that wasn't a smart idea on their part. They um, ended up. Wait, hey, hey, what the hell? Is he infected? Is he... Is he just wigging out? Oh man. I thought he was going to shoot me in the face then. I think I'm just going to leave him. I'm going to pop over here. I wasn't expecting that. Are you going to... Are you going to be alright, bro? He's kind of... I'm going to try and push him out of here. Get him away from all these dead bodies. It might help him to recover or something. There we go. All right. Yeah, that okay. worked. That worked. Mate, if you're going to be waving that thing around firing, I, I'm going to take it off you. Scared the crap out of me. Okay. 
just just opened up with that gun for no reason. So proximity to dead bodies causes these guys to wig out for whatever reason. And, uh, here we go. And of course, the trained soldiers, ladies and gentlemen, trained soldiers can't handle one dead body. So uh, yeah, nice work there. All right. Now I'm betting this will trigger another attack. Absolutely. You. If you guys can't handle one dead body, I don't know why you joined the army, because you, you're going to see quite a few before the end of this game. Okay. Grab some more ammo. And uh, ammo doesn't seem to be a problem for me at the moment. I've got quite a bit. You guys just come in here for a sec. Okay. I thought I'd get jumped or something. I don't know. Well, there we go. Spray him, boys. Spray him. Don't let any in. So I don't have ESP. Uh, the problem is that this game's jump scares can be a little bit predictable. You go into a doorway and you get attacked. You press a switch, you get attacked, you uh, you fix one of those damn junction boxes, you get attacked, the, the jump scares are getting a little bit too predictable, it's a minor gripe with the game, it's been quite good so far, oh there we go, so whenever I walk in a doorway, I always walk in and I turn around behind me like I did then, because they always seem to come in, they like attacking you from behind. Here we go. And it looks like these are the hypos we're after. The blood test hypo. You recently picked up is specifically designed to expose the virus entity when it exists in the human host. You can use these to make sure a squad member is really human and to prove to your squad that you're not infected. To boost their trust, to use a blood test hypo on a squad member, Equip it, approach them, and press mouse 2. To use it on yourself, stand in front of your squad mates, go into your items inventory, and press the I button. Be tactful about using blood test hypos. They're a rare item, and you won't find many. So there you go. So it, it seems to that we have a bit of a more high-tech method of determining who's human and who's not. It, it's probably a... Yeah, it'll just be a, either a, a hypo that's full of, uh, full of chemicals that react with blood. And... I'm not sure what'll happen when someone fails the test, if someone fails the test. We're actually about to go back to our new friend Pierce, and he's going to sit here with his flamethrower, and anyone who fails a test is going to be given the cure, which is basically a flamethrower to the face. But what we'll do before we do anything is I'll just come in here. We are a little bit cold. And we're going to head back to our new buddy. And we're going to take the test. And this will answer the burning Very question. Am I infected? Is one of these guys infected? Or maybe all of us are infected. But I really doubt that because that would pretty much be in end game. I'm guessing one of these guys at least will be infected. If both of them were infected and I was human, they probably would jump me. But then again, I have got the only flame based weapon. So they might be scared to attack me. But this guy wigged out before, can that just mean that he's actually scared rather than being a thing? It just makes him a... You got the kid? Good. Pretty crappy soldier. Reports said the hypo contains a chemical that reacts with blood. Do it. We'll soon know, one way or another. Now I'm gonna show you what I already know. Moment of truth, boys. Let's see if I'm human. Okay, Maybe so I'm get good. Out of this. Get that flamethrower ready. Oh! You know what to do. We Spray him. Mate, why aren't you... Oh. They're both... They're both things. You know what to do, Pierce. Give him the flamethrower. That's it. Let's 
one left. Oh, he nearly got me. Thanks, man. Well, who would have thought it? They were both infected. I have no idea why they didn't try and kill me. I guess they were just scared, but their chances of survival went down really sharp when uh, Pierce turned up with his flamethrower. So at least for now I have one trustworthy squaddy. So let's uh, let's head out and see what awaits us in the next level. Pierce! Pierce! God damn it. Pierce must have got lost behind me somewhere. Oh man, am I glad to see you? Yeah, it's me, you jackass! Now let's get inside! What the hell happened? Look man, me and Williams were tracking this weird animal through the base, and we lost him in a storm, and then we ran into a Swede. Norwegian. Yeah, the Norwegian guy. Well, he started shouting and attacking me, and I started chasing him, and I lost him in the storm. What about Williams? I lost him too. Right, so it seems we've left our uh, our flame throwing friends somewhere in the storm. I'll load this guy up. Okay. Now, fortunately, that is a bit of a inconvenience for us because that means that I am back to my really tiny little blowtorch, which is very ineffectual. Now, I think if those two guys had have attacked me and Pierce hadn't have been around with his flamethrower, I don't like how things might have turned out. I'd probably be wandering around thingified with the two of them. Now, we could go in here, but before we do, I'm going to have a bit of a look around. My sentiments exactly, sir. This looks like a service shed. Maybe I can get some tools or weapons here. Oh, what the hell is that? Did that kill it? There's only one way to be sure. That wasn't a smart idea. Sorry about that, mate. Yep, it's dead. I didn't want to walk in there, especially when there was strategically placed barrels around for me to blow up. So yeah, the, the game's taking a bit of a Lovecraftian route with the giant tentacles and so forth, but the, the good thing about the the sci-fi nature of this game and of the thing itself, it does allow the developer a, a, an air of artistic uh, freedom. The the thing doesn't have any sort of set appearance. Yeah, this area looks all right. So I, I look forward to seeing a number of different manifestations of the thing. And it's freezing out here. It looks like this is the only way in, so uh, what we'll do is I'll, um, I'll get my buddy. Do you want to do your thing? And I'll, All right. I'll cover you. Whoa! No, you don't. Thanks, man. I run out of ammo. Alright, let's get in here. I'm actually going to swap to my Beretta because I've got a full Beretta. And these things aren't really that tough. We got some company. Watch it, mate! Shot me in the back. That really hurt Man, too. We're gonna die here. They're around here somewhere. They always pop out. We got some there we company. Go. That's it. Keep going. I think he actually bit me. I'm pretty hurt. My friend, uh, he's a pretty good shot, but unfortunately, he did decide to put a magazine into my back. Whoa! Now that's the thing. That is its, uh, that's its 
form when it takes over a human being. Let's get out there. Look, I'm, I'm all right. It's, a, it's okay. Come on, man. We got to get out and get this thing. It's gonna spread. Might start taking over all of these dead people here. Oh man, this don't look good. Where are you? Okay, I'll pull it together. I know you're around here somewhere. I'm not gonna wander out into the snow after it. I'll let it come to us. Oh man, we're gonna die here. I'm okay, alright? Oh, another one. Look out. Alrighty. Now, I think we got them all. Yes, sir. Now, I picked up some stuff on those barrels. Incendiary grenades. It's definitely an alternative to having to use the blowtorch. Although, I, I like the blowtorch better. It, it's a bit safer. The, if the grenade goes off, it could cook me along with whatever I'm trying to kill. Oh, come on. What is it with you guys? Oh, look at that. So there's a guy hiding behind the boxes there. Uh, I have no idea if he's hostile or not, but I'm not going to shoot him in the head until we've at least spoken to him. Stay the hell away from me! I'm warning you! Williams, I need your help. Bullshit. You're infected just like the rest. Come any closer and I'll fry your ass. Listen, I found Pace. I just need to get into the comm room to call for assistance. Do you have access? I've got access, but I ain't going nowhere with all those things out there. You kill them, and I'll help get us out of here. Man, looks like last night's dinner. And how do you propose I do that when you've got the only flame drum? human? Alright, well let's check out the rest of this room. And uh, maybe we'll find ourselves... Oh, is that a head crab? We got some cover! Thanks, man. They're head, they're head crabs from Half Life. Yeah, what do you know? Another blood test typo. Company. Oh! You're right, man. He got gotcha. you. Reside behind the table. Ah, the flame drawer. This is what we've been looking for. Don't attempt to take on any self-repairing alien without the ability to cook them. Which means don't use a blowtorch to kill a giant alien. Flame weaponry is the only way to kill large enemies. When attacking a target, be sure to administer enough fuel. Well, don't worry, I'll be administering enough fuel. More than enough fuel. To ignite them. But be aware that the environment and squad members could become part of the barbecue. The flamethrower can also be used to lay down firewalls that could be used to pen enemy targets. So I absolutely have been looking forward to this. Have a look at that. How's this bad boy? Oh! So unfortunately the range on this thing isn't great. At least we've got plenty of ammo. And it's better than the blowtorch. So, properly armed. Let's go out and try and find these these thing beasts and uh, give them some flamethrower justice. Whoa, that thing is big. I'll try and pistol it. Ah, how do you like that? Running won't get you anywhere. Hey! Halfway across the room! He got me. He got me. I hope I'm not infected. My buddy took out the other thing. Bloody hell. Those, uh, those... Those things can jump a mile. We got some company! Whoa, they're tough! They take enough shots to go down. 
I don't think the pistol is going to cut it. I'm going to have to use the MP5. Let's um, let's hang on to our flame grenades. We'll try some regular ones. I'm curious to see if they'll work. Well, there's another one, just in time. That didn't really hurt him. Well, what the hell's happening? He's grown another head. I think I, I think I burnt myself then. Whoa! So when they die, they, they, they break up into little, little thing entities. They kind of, they kind of remind me of the head crabs from Half Life. Company. Oh, behind us! Got them. So we get a little bit better at killing these things, and with the flamethrower, it's a lot easier. It's a hell of a lot less dangerous than running up to them with the blowtorch, that's for sure. Let's uh, sneak up here. Oops. Come on, man. You got nothing. Gonna cook ya. You want another one, do ya? That's what you get. That's cooking with skill. And this is as close as you'll ever get to a cooking show with me in it. That'd be gallows humour right there. Oh. Pump action shotgun. Now that is what I've been looking for. I need something a little bit bigger than a 9mm and this thing is really going to mess up a thing. It may not kill one of them, but it sure as hell will uh, incapacitate them. Here's some shells for us. That's a back entrance. Alrighty. Where's my MP5? There we go. So what we'll do is we'll run down here and I'll load up. See my friend needs some ammo, he does. It's okay. I really want a chance to test this bad boy out. Well, the area's secure now. I need your help. If we're gonna make it out of here alive, you've gotta get me in the comm room now. Yes, sir. Follow me, Captain. Maybe you will get us out of this. Alright. <laughs> Maybe you guys will get stronger stomachs. You are soldiers, right? Right, we're not going to follow that guy. What's this over here? The stun gun. Capable of administering a 5,000 volt charge, the stun gun will temporarily, temporarily disable a target and cause them to drop their weapon. Great as an alternative to killing a potential squad member who is behaving in a hostile manner. Be warned using the stun gun on a squad member will cause them to lose some trust in you. Well, that's understandable. Tasing people causes them not to trust you. It's alright. I'm fine. Lost contact with the MediCenter team today. We sent a team to investigate, but they lost contact with them in the storm. They were due to check in over five hours ago, but there is no way I'm going to send anyone else out there in this weather. Alrighty. So... What we're going to do is, I believe I spied a save machine over here. We're screwed. Oh, we're going to die here. I'm going to load up my friend with some ammo. Okay. Load myself up with some ammo. Hold still, and I'll fix you up. Ah, he's a medic too. I didn't notice that. Didn't notice that giant red cross on his chest. Alrighty. And we're going to leave it this here. Should help. So what do we do today? We, uh, we determined that you can get tests in the game. To test for Thank someone you. being human. We determined, unfortunately, two of the three new squad members I met were infected. And we had to put them down. 
We've gotten a bit further into the game and now I've got some bigger weapons. Uh, primarily this bad boy here, the flamethrower. And uh, also, if things get real bad, I've got this uh, this bad boy, the, the shotgun. Got a couple new squad members. But again, I, I don't know if they're human or not. There's, there's no real way to know. But I do have a blood test, but I've only got one. I'm going to keep that for myself. I don't know what we're doing here. And hopefully we'll get a bit further in the next episode. We've become a lot more experienced at killing the thing beasts. And it's definitely made easier with some bigger weapons like this boy. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And as always, if you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Please leave me a like or a comment if you feel so inclined. And we'll see you for the next episode. Until next time, Skill Incarnate out.